What's going on YouTube, Giosno right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you some essential tweaks that you should definitely have no matter who you are and no matter what version are you running on if you are jailbroken. So these tweaks would basically be essential tweaks that you should install right after jailbreaking your device and keep them in there for when you need them. So I'm going to start with the very first one, which I made myself. It's called iSecure OS. So this tweak or application that you can get from Cydia, the repo will be in the description down below, is basically a software that would check if you have any bad tweaks or any bad repos or even if you have security vulnerabilities on your device. So once you install it you perform a quick secure scan on your device and as you can see you press view vulnerabilities and you can see exactly what's going on with your device and what's wrong with it. For example I'm not running a VPN. The location services are enabled when they shouldn't be because keeping the location services enabled drains your battery and also allows applications to keep tracking you. So only use location services when you need them. For example for, I don't know, Google Maps or anything. Then it tells me that there is no passcode set and it tells me that the default SSH password has been detected and it gives me the option to change the root password right from the application. No more terminal commands. So definitely a good application that I definitely recommend even though I made it myself. I really do believe that this should be on any device because it gives you some insight on how safe your jailbreak is and it gives you some recommendations that you may find useful. Then of course we have Falza. If you just jailbroke your your device, especially if you're new to jailbreaking, this is something that you should definitely install. This is also free, just like iSecure OS, and this one is a complete file manager, but for the jailbroken devices. It allows you to install tweaks in depth format, it allows you to remove and create files right here on the file system, and explore anything on your iOS. It even allows you to modify, you know, various parts of the system, for example, to tweak strings and whatever on your device. And it's actually very interesting because you can use it to install anything you want in depth format and even modify various parts of iOS when you need it. It's also very useful when you need to remove a file because, I don't know, your jailbreak doesn't work anymore or if you want to uninstall an application. So definitely recommend it. That one can be found in Cydia pretty easily. It's available on Big Boss. So every single device that is jailbroken on iOS 14, on iOS 13, on iOS 12 should definitely have Falza installed. This is basically where you find it. It's Falza. As for the iSecure OS, it's this one in here, created by me, Gios now. Right now is version 1.08. So definitely get these two. I do believe they are essential. The next one, also essential, is Crash. Crashed is a tweak that I talked about in the past, which allows you to see exactly why your device crashed or why something crashed on your jailbroken device and how you can fix it. So for example, you can see here a huge list of processes that have crashed and depending on which one crashes much more frequent, for example, you can see on the right the number of times that process crashed, you can see exactly which process causes issues on your device. And you can even see the full log here if you open the log and send it to the developer so that they can fix their tweak. Which I believe is good because many tweaks create a lot of crashes and instability on your device because they're made wrong or because of a bug and so on. So these crash logs actually would help the developers of the tweaks tremendously because they would know what to look for because they can read these logs even though you probably can. So this would actually give you a notification every time a process crashes so you would know how stable your iOS device is while jailbroken and with this developers can update their tweaks and make your device even more stable by providing stable tweaks that don't interact badly with your system. The next tweak that I consider very important is new term. And yes, you probably heard of it before, but this is one of the essential things you should definitely have. It's a terminal application right on your device. And this is completely useless until you really need it, until your jailbreak starts acting up and it doesn't work anymore, and you would need to run a command and you don't have a terminal. For example, you can see I was able to run UI caching here. If, for example, any of the applications that I try to install Installed from Cydia wouldn't show up, running that UI cache command here on terminal would fix that and many many other things that can be fixed using this terminal here. Normally you would be able to run these commands via SSH but do you really have OpenSSH installed? It doesn't come by default with your jailbreak, it's not installed by default here in Cydia so you'd have to install it yourself is the OpenSSH in here. But what if you don't have it installed? Well if you don't have it installed or if you don't want to install it for safety purposes because we talked about safety here with the uh, vulnerability of SSH and stuff like that, then you can also use the terminal here, new term, to run any commands to fix your jailbreak or to reset things or, you know, just to get things back in order again. Usually when your jailbreak fails, and it will fail eventually, it's just a matter of time, you will need to run commands usually in order to fix it. And if you don't have a terminal installed and you don't have open SSH either and you cannot open Cydia to install it because it crashes, for example, then you're pretty much screwed. So it's a good thing to just install this 
terminal, install Faza, install iSecureOS, install Crash, put them all in one folder, call it Essentials or something, and keep them in there. The last tweak we're going to talk about is more of a cosmetic tweak, but it's still an essential one since it allows a lot of functionality for your device. It's called Snowboard, and this one allows you to install themes on your iOS device. So you can see right now I have a theme installed called Lotus. For those of you who are interested, it's a free theme. But in order to be able to change this icons and load the theme and so on, you would need a theming platform. There are many of them, but Snowboard is actually relatively good in terms of battery management, so not exactly very bad with the battery and it also works fine. You can enable it and disable it with one toggle and as you can see I no longer have the theme. I can just go back in here, enable it again and there you go. It's completely live, completely instant. So if you want to get themes on your jailbroken device, I can't recommend Snowboard enough. There are alternatives depending on what iOS version you're on, for example Anemone or even Winterboard if you're on a very old iOS version, but those do tend to be very bad in terms of battery. So if you're on an iOS version where Anemone works, you would have to get Anemone free, I think, or the latest one, but anyways this one is actually completely free and works fine. So if you want to be able to install themes, this one is an essential tweak that many jailbreakers will find useful. It's available on the Dynastic repo and it's completely free, you can see it in here. So yeah, this is my list with the most essential tweaks that you should install right after jailbreaking your device. Many of these tweaks may not be useful right at this point, but you may find them very useful in the future when something goes wrong with your jailbreak, because Falza can be used to fix your jailbreak, New Term can be used to fix your jailbreak, Crashed and iSecureOS can be used to diagnose your jailbreak, and for the snowboard it's just a cute cosmetic one which definitely helps improve the visual aspect of your device. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.